Welcome back! We got ourselves a navigational droid, which we'll need to um, fly our ship. Your new pilot droid appears to be a bit dinged up, but functional. You hope that he knows more about piloting a spaceship than you do. Well, that's not that difficult, I guess. The average vacuum cleaner knows more about piloting spaceships than Roger does. The droid emits a cheerful chirp, but has nothing further to say right now. Fortunately, you bought it as a pilot, not a conversationalist. There's nothing like the smell of a new used droid. It's like that new car smell, I guess. Like many things in your experience, it looks better than it tastes. And he does have a lot of experience, even just through the course of this game. Well, let's uh, get out of here. It automatically follows us. Can you actually look at this art? No. Does the ship smell like anything? The ship smells a bit like space. It must have been there recently. Hmm. Needs salt. Um. <laughs> okay, I was afraid he was stuck there. How can the ship smell like space? Space doesn't really smell like anything. Once you are seated snugly in the ship's compact cockpit, the robot moves into position and you push the load button. It leaves its wheels behind. Which would be really annoying if we want to land somewhere else. Hey, wait a minute! Where do you think you're going with my ship? Uh, we bought it from A. Hey, it's the time pod from Space Quest Four. You'll see once we get to doing that game. Our teams at Tiny didn't actually own this ship. Oh well. Roger didn't see that, so uh, his conscience is clean. We have achieved escape velocity. It might help if you were to tell me where we are going. Please indicate our destination on the touchpad in front of you. Oh, we need to go to sector EG, but unfortunately there are no uh, actual, you know, letters on this keypad. It's a keypad just like the uh, data cartridge retrieval uh, thingy on the Arcada. So again, we need to use the uh, manual to tell us what code belongs to uh, sector EG. <coughs> Sorry. Well, let's look around a little bit here. If there's anything to look at. Which it seems there's not. And why even give me the option? Please enter a navigational code sequence to allow course plotting. Um, alright, we'll just enter the code for sector EG. Which is this thing. And this thing. And this thing. And finally, it's this symbol. If you put in a wrong code, um, I think it, it'll either just not work, um, or you'll go somewhere and you'll die. Either by crashing into an asteroid or something like that. Hey, wait a second. Did I read that wrong? Oh, yes, I did. I must have switched codes accidentally. If you give the wrong sector, then you'll go somewhere and die. But if you uh, give a code that doesn't exist at all, then it does nothing, as you just noticed. Okay, I'm plotting our course. Course plotted, stand by for warp speed. Engage! Fancy little uh, palette swapping effect there. At least I think that's how they do it. That's usually how they do those kinds of animations. Oh no! It's an asteroid field! And if you encounter any of those at an incorrect sector, you will die! But since this is the right uh, 
sector, we actually managed to get through it safely. Sensors indicate a large ship in this sector. I wonder who it could be. We'll continue to scan for an ID. And the droid scratches its head, which is a perfectly normal thing for droids to do. And it's the Deltor! We found it! Whoa! That's a Sarian Bell Cruiser! We'd better stand off. If we get any closer, they'll detect us for sure, and we'll be space sputum. Let's head on out of here, okay, boss? No. I want to stay. And choosing that, you will automatically exit your ship. As you exit the ship, you carefully slide the jetpack on your back. Of course, if you didn't have the jetpack at this point, you'd just drift randomly in space and die, with no idea that there even is a jetpack to get anywhere in the game, and no idea how to get one, even if you did. Because the game doesn't tell you! Fortunately, we did get the jetpack. So we can zoom on over there. Now you can see there's guns on the back of the ship. And no, those aren't just decorative. Well, looky here! You are floating in space, just outside the biggest darn spaceship you've ever seen. You see a door. Perhaps it is a way in. All doors usually are. Um, let's save here. So like I said, the... Uh, guns that you could see are not decorative if you try to leave the screen. Painfully slowly. Oh, I thought you could. Maybe only in some directions? Yes. You get to the guns, and they blow you up good! key -haw! The inhabitants of this vessel apparently do not appreciate your desire to sightsee. I guess it's a good idea not to be wandering around the outside of this ship. You were a carbon-based being. Now, you're just carbon. Uh, this wrong spelling of your... one of my pet peeves, anyway. Alright, we'd better stay here, then. It appears to be a standard airlock. There is a handle off to the side. It's a handle. You're next to a large hatch in the side of the ship. Uh, does anything here smell? First, you would have to take off your helmet. And that's not a very good idea. Not through your helmet. Okay, well, let's just try and open the... Uh, Airlock. I think if you wait too long, your jetpack runs out and you die as well. Luckily, it has this manual release. And now the jetpack is gonna fill anyway. Well, it did say in the description in the inventory that it was a really used jetpack. And I guess they weren't wrong. Now where are we? There appears to be a de decontamination unit. Something like the ones used to zap Andromeda and cockroaches aboard the Arcada. You wonder what it's here for? Well, I'm guessing it uh, might zap me. And I'm also guessing somebody might come... Um, ...here. So we better take cover. In case they do we don't want to be spotted. Your overheating jetpack lies smoking on the floor. You hope that it doesn't explode. The airlock door looks unfortunately thick and sturdy. There seems to be some sort of special door control panel. It requires some sort of special key keycard, which you obviously don't have. Which also means we cannot get out of here without external help. Which should arrive soon. It's still us, Roger Wilco, janitor sub extraordinaire. It appears to be some sort of high-tech fire droid. Yeah, 
real high tech, because if you look closely, it is actually carrying a bucket of water. Well, this is our chance to get out of here. And we are inside the Deltor. All we gotta do is find the star generator and, well, blow it up, basically. Before the Sarians can use it in their plans of galactic domination. Well, um, we'll see if we can uh, make some headway on infiltrating this uh, ship in the next video.